Steve Dangle's a new dad. And when you're a new dad, you don't get a lot of sleep. And when you don't get a lot of sleep, you forget to do the ad read off the top of your trade video. Yes, Jesse, and I appreciate that very much. Continue. And that's why we've partnered with Sleep Breakthrough, a natural formula that helps you fall asleep very quickly so that you don't forget to do your ad read. It's true. This sounds like a product I need very much. Tell me more. Sleep Breakthrough is a natural formula that produces the precursors to melatonin. So it's better than melatonin because it creates the natural things in your body to then produce melatonin to then help you fall asleep very quickly and get all of the sleep you need to go about the rest of your day. And apparently it also comes with the help of supportive friends. If you're struggling with sleep like Steve Dangle, who cannot fall asleep quickly enough and get enough sleep, I highly recommend Sleep Breakthrough. Visit biooptimizers.com slash dangle and use promo code dangle for 10% off your purchase of Sleep Breakthrough. It'll help you fall asleep super quickly. It's all natural. That's biooptimizers.com slash dangle, promo code dangle, 10% off your purchase. Biooptimizers.com slash dangle, promo code dangle, 10% off. I am getting some immediately. Trades! Two of them! Two Colorado ones as well. The Colorado Avalanche made two trades on Wednesday, two days before the trade deadline. They made another two on Thursday. And these guys sneakily doing a fantastic job, McFarland, Sackick, and company. And no, producer Drew did not pay me to say that. First, the Avalanche dealing with a divisional rival. The Avs acquired depth winger Brandon Duhame from the Minnesota Wild in exchange for a third round pick, which is a decent pick, but it's down the road in 2026, which is actually a deal that could work out decently for the Wild because the Avs are really, really good now. Two years from now, who knows? It could be better, but it's a wild card. Then a second deal with another divisional rival. This one, a, a little trickier. The Colorado Avalanche acquire big forward Yakov Trenin, as well as WHL defenseman Graham Sward in exchange for WHL defenseman, there's another one, Jeremy Hansel, and a 2025 third round pick. So if you're into the niche of Colorado Avalanche third round picks, well, this is a bad day for you. There is a theme here. The Trenin trade, to me, it's Yakov Trenin for a third round pick. The swap of WHL defensive prospects is, to me, just a wash. The main difference is Jeremy Hansel, who went to the Nashville Predators, is under contract, whereas Graham Sward, it's just his signing right. So he could tell the Avalanche to take a hike, which is an opportunity they might not turn down on account of it's Denver and the mountains are beautiful. Dad humor, I had, we had a baby on Sunday, shut up, I'm tired. There is a theme here though, with what Colorado is doing. Do you like professional wrestling? Are, are, are you into that? Is that the sort of thing you're into? You know, the tag team, The New Day? You know, former champion Big E, that huge, dude who did that gyration and moved his hips and did the splits? Well, he once said something that I think Joe Sackick and the Colorado Avalanche would agree with. Quote is, I want to see two big men with big chests and big muscles bumping meat. That's why I'm here. That's why I watched wrestling as a kid. He meant hockey. You want your five star matches? You want your 30 minute classics? Not me. Big meaty men slapping meat! Now I think there's a lot that can be gleaned from that. Because what do you want? Maybe not your five star matches and 30 minute classics. What you want are your high flying forwards and your stalwart defensemen. There's a the thing, Colorado already has those. Really sneakily, they've rebuilt their forwards. Like look at this. This is just what Daily Faceoff has. It's not necessarily how it works out. First line of Arturi Lekkinen. Hey, I got it right. Nathan McKinnon, Miko Rantanen. Second line, Jonathan Drouin with Casey Middlestat and Valerie Nikushkin. Third line, this is so annoying. Miles Wood, Ross Colton, Zach Parise. I would try to upgrade that Parise slot, but other than that, that's a really annoying third line. And then the fourth line, big meaty men bumping meat. Brandon Duhame, Andrew Cogliano, Yakov Trenin. Yakov Trenin. 10 goals in 60 games. He's only got uh, 14 points. Six foot two, 200 pounds. And Brandon Duhame in 62 games, four goals, four assists, eight points. Six foot two, 200 pounds. Big meaty men slapping meat. Listen, Ryan Johansson, it seems like they couldn't get rid of fast enough, so he's gone. Obviously their decor looks a lot different with Sean Walker coming in and uh, uh, Bowen Byram going out. But that fourth line is big and nasty right now with Duhame and Trennan. Who Trennan, by the way, can also play some center. Now you might be saying to yourself, all right, so they only spent a third round pick on Duhame. I can live with that. 
They only spent a third round pick on Trennan. I can live with that. Do the Avalanche have any picks left? And the answer is not no. It's almost no, but it's not no. Get a load of this. The Colorado Avalanche have no second and no third in this draft. They have their fourth. They don't have their own fifth, but they do have Seattle's. They have their sixth. They have two sevenths. Next year, no first, no second, no third. They have a fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And then even in 2026, they don't have a third. But here's what they do have. A little bit of potential for Gabriel Landeskog to come back and play games. Also, a little bit of wiggle room under the cap in part because of LTIR. And their 2024 first round pick. They do have their 2026 first round pick, but like, that's, that's down the line, man. I wonder if for the right price, that first round pick this year could be had. I guess we'll see. What do you think about the Colorado Avalanche's addition so far? I think their decor got better. I think their offense got way better. And obviously, once they recover from the injury bug a little bit, once these players actually fly to Colorado and get in the lineup, I think they're gonna be a problem, man. For now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to consider becoming a member, uh, SDP VIP, and join this channel. Join us on Apple Podcasts. Join us on Spotify. Tell all your friends, big meaty men slapping meat.